an entire village accepting Islam. Inspiring, isn't it? Now, being part of that is possible. By donating to this Ayera project, it will help many people accept Islam in Africa and equip them to practice it. Link in the description. Asalaamu As Alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. The Israeli lies have become so blatantly unbelievable and indefensible that even their closest allies and compadres like the BBC have had to step aside. The clip analyzes Israel's claim that it has found a Shifa hospital to be a headquarter for Hamas. Whilst the rest of us see hospitals and go, you know what, this is a place where injured people go to heal Israel goes, lock and load boys, Hamas is there. The BBC very rarely have been found not to be buying this Israeli propaganda and I would say have completely and utterly violated Israel with this one. Some viewers may find the following scenes both delicious and satisfying. But having been inside Al Shifa since early Wednesday, Israel's yet to produce evidence of the tunnels. Translation, they be lying. They be lying. They be lying. They're making stuff up. They got no evidence. It has allowed the BBC and Fox News to film at the hospital, though only locations of Israel's choice. Translation, they be using us as propaganda mate. They be trying to stop us from doing our job and some proper journalism mate. We're not some poodles that you can tell us here yeah, go over there mate. There's clearly something fishy going on there mate. A watch visible in that video suggests it was filmed a few hours before the BBC arrived. Damn, they went there. I remember those videos of the Illuminati ones, you know what I mean? Where you'd have to zoom in just so you could see the triangle and all that. Boy, they caught Israel slacking with this one, with the pants down and everything. And this IDF video was posted, then deleted, then reposted. This time without a section referring to an Israeli soldier who'd been held hostage. Translation, if it was the truth, you wouldn't need to constantly take it down, make edits and then upload it again. Because the truth doesn't change. The BBC was shown the same room. And what we see in the two videos doesn't precisely match. For example, there's one gun in the IDF video, two by the time of the BBC footage. Translation, Israel wants us to believe that the gun had a little baby. Not a human baby, <laughs> otherwise that would be dead, obviously. Israel also says its video is a single shot with no edits, but this appears to be an edit. We don't know the reasons for that edit, nor how significant it is. Translation, they think we're stupid and we can't tell edited from non-edited. Where'd the BBC mate? We know a thing or two about editing footage and who knows what they cut out. Probably something important because that's the sort of stuff we do. The important stuff gets left out. We spotted this a mile away. Israel's description of Al Shifa as an operational command center for Hamas. The US is using a different phrase, saying Al Shifa was used as a command and control node. That implies a much smaller facility. Translation, mommy and daddy can't seem to agree. Trouble in paradise. If they get a divorce, it'll probably be better for everybody else. But for now at least, it's either not found supporting evidence or it's not sharing it. Back to you Sophie. Savor this moment guys for good things like this don't tend to last. BBC is clearly gonna get it in the neck. Maybe some people who had a moment of clarity and their conscience kicked in. That's why they thought, you know what? How about we do some proper journalism? How about that? But obviously these people that do their job are probably gonna be out of the job. And they're gonna bring other people in who don't know how to do the job properly. So chances are things are gonna go back to their normal nonsense. But it was of course good while it lasted. Long live Palestine. See you guys next time inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.